Well, good morning. This is Pastor Rush, and you know what this is. The last Sunday of 2019 already. Wow. And now, get yourself ready, because we're going to have our announcements brought to us by the young people of the Inspiring Body of Christ Church. The last announcement from 2019. Let's get ready for 2020. Oh, by the way, I know they're going to say it, but I want to see you Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Good morning, family. It's been a busy month and a super busy year, and we want everyone to end 2019 by joining us this Tuesday at 10 p.m., for our New Year's Eve service. But now, it's time for the Junior Announcements. Good morning, family. We have said it before, and we will keep on saying it. The best store in the whole wide world is right here at our church. It's called The Deep, and it's full of inspiring items for men, women, and children of all ages and sizes. So today, we want to introduce something new. It's the inspiring items of the week. Our K-4 scholars from the University of Dreams want to start with a popular item that is selling quickly. It's the Ibach Pad Folio. It comes in red, black, and amber with enough space to store your iPad or tablet. Wow! All right, K-4 scholars, on to the next item. Our next item is a great gift for your home or your job. Check out these Ibach coasters. They're available in black and brown, and it looks really, really classy with that Ibach logo. It sure does. And finally, this one's for the ladies. We've got some classy looking Ibot Weekenders. It's a purse with a matching bag. So if you are on the go, you can look good and get moving in style. That's what I'm talking about. All of these inspiring items and so much more are available in the deep. So check us out after service today. Magical things happen whenever the men of God sing at IBOC. But last week, one of our inspiring teenagers did an amazing job of singing God's praises. Okay, I'm going to surprise somebody. I'm going to surprise somebody. Jay! I did not do the same evil. Oh. Jaden Gibson is an overcomer. And so, in our final broadcast of 2019, we encourage you to let his story bless your life. Good morning, family. Marlon Lewis, Marquita Lewis, Jenny Gisham, Alan Lewis, Brother Alan Lewis, and this is our story. I'm a proud member of Inspiring Body of Christ Church and I'm a proud grandpa of Jaden Gibson. And when I was asked about doing our story, I was really excited about it. And what I want to say is, uh, just bringing some awareness to autism, is that I had to watch Jaden at a year and a half walk around speaking and talking as a normal kid. And then after a year and a half, I had to watch him progress back to not speaking at all and not making eye contact. So to bring that awareness to you guys out there in the audience, um, I'm, I'm really happy to do that because everybody that's been a member here for a while remembers Jaden sitting out there with those headphones on. But fast forward, look at him today. Look at him today. Jaden being at this church has been a tremendous difference in our lives. He loves everyone. He loves this church. Jaden loves the congregation of this church, but he loves Pastor George. I have no doubt that Jaden will be healed from autism. This is not what he's going to be his entire life. It's a journey for him. And I believe that Jaden has a testimony that one day every last one of us is going to hear. My name is Marquita. For anybody that don't know, this is my son, Jaden. He'll be 16 on January, um, excuse me, December 31st. So <laughs> his birthday is coming up. And I'll just talk about my journey with him as his mother. Um, like my father said, he was progressing, hitting all his milestones up until a year and a half, and then he regressed, and we just watched him lose his 
he lost his words he lost his eye contact it's kind of like he went into his own world with that and so we finally got the diagnosis of him having autism and for anybody that doesn't know that means he just has deficits in his communication and his social skills and kind of his behaviors and routines as y'all all saw with the boy with the yellow headphones yelling out after pastor rush like amen hallelujah but he wait till he get quiet <laughs> wait till it got quiet for that to happen so from there we just had to do a lot of work with him a lot of prayer um, and everything just to get him where he is today we are so blessed that he has come as far as he has come he takes speech therapy occupational therapy he, he's, he's in swimming right now and y'all one day you know we, we stay paired up we stay giving on those 90 days after that first time we did that my son came to me and said no more headphones headphones off never again doesn't want to wear them y'all he's taking drum lessons this is a kid who used to hold his ears when the sounds were too loud for him and then y'all last sunday as you saw he had a solo going had everybody crying so just uber thankful and grateful for anyone that has been praying for him and anyone who has accepted him and brought him into the family i grew up in this church we've been members since i was I, maybe 1991 I grew up in the church but just to see my son come through and everybody embrace him and love on him and pray for him I'm just so grateful and thankful also to Pastor Rush for being obedient and just highlighting awareness for all of our kids as he did that um, one Easter Sunday so I'm just grateful and thankful and love everybody thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord you, Lord.